What's going on guys, Jonathan here with TLD and I got a quick speed test between the Galaxy Nexus located here on my left hand side and the iPhone 4S located on the right hand side. Now spec wise, uh, they're both dual core CPU phones. This is clocked at 1.2 gigahertz. This is clocked at 800 megahertz, which a lot of people laugh at. Uh, this is running ice cream sandwich, Android 4.0. This is running iOS 5. So what I did was I took a one minute 1080p video clip at 30 frames per second on each phone. Uh, and I'm gonna open them up in their respective video editor. Now, since there's no iMovie for Android and vice versa, that is as close uh, as I can get as far as fairness goes. But this should win because it is higher clocked. Now, first and foremost, let me open up multitasking so we can make sure no other applications are running. Double tap, you can see there is nothing else. This is actually extremely cool. So I really enjoy the multitasking uh, on Ice Cream Sandwich, but that's for another video. So I've got Twitter open. Let's go ahead and swipe and get that out so there's nothing going on. You can see no recent apps and there's nothing there. So what we'll go ahead and do is open up Movie Studio on the Nexus, and then we'll go ahead and open up iMovie on the 4S. So we're going to go to Create New Project, tap to start. We're going to name this Test Just for the sake of it. Uh, now we're on the blank canvas, so we're going to tap to Insert Media. There's that clip, double tap, and there it is. So we'll go ahead and scroll to the end. You can see it's one minute. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and import a video clip here. And again, both 1080p. So here's the camera roll. We'll go ahead and scroll to the end, and we can see, there we go, a minute. So same footage, 1080p, 30 frames per second. There we have it. So what we're gonna do now is exit out of here because that's how we export an iMovie. And then we're gonna go ahead and set this up here. So. Export movie. We have a few options. We're going to change that to 1080p, 1920 by 1080. We'll go ahead and set that to high quality. And then we'll go ahead and set this up. Camera roll, 1080p. So I believe once I hit that, that will export. And we'll go ahead and get this as even as possible. One, two, three. So you can see, and we are off to the races. And right away, and I'm not trying to start a flame war. Uh, but you can see clearly uh, on the right hand side, the iPhone 4S is moving a lot quicker. That jumped to 10%, so if that keeps going in those increments, we should be closer. But right now, we can see the iPhone is moving quicker. And I'm not trying to knock the Galaxy Nexus. I'm a little disappointed by the performance. Uh, this should, in theory, smoke this because this is at 1.2 gigahertz. This is at 800 megahertz. A lot of people laugh at that. Um, but you can see it is tearing through the export. We're at 13%. Uh, there is no percent, but you can see just by looking at it, uh, we're over 50% and we are coming to the home stretch. Now we're just about done uh, on the iPhone 4S. We're about 15% on the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, and again, I know it's not completely uh, the same, but it's as close as I can get. 1080p video, exporting it uh, to full 1080p. And we are done, pretty much done on the iPhone 4S. Just wrapping up the final bit of the export your movie was exported to your camera roll and that is it and we are barely at 18 percent um so i know ice cream sandwich is supposed to be optimized uh but you can see right here it's not always about the cpu speed it's about os optimization and that's pretty much the same task i don't care how you spin it it is pretty much the same task i exported a 1080p video on my iphone faster period that said there's a lot of good things about ice cream sandwich about the galaxy nexus that i will get to in upcoming videos but for now uh you can see we're stuck on 23 percent uh i did enable gpu acceleration uh, on the developer settings on the galaxy nexus with or without that on didn't really make a difference it's just slower at this point so hopefully future movie editors will be able to take advantage uh, of the speed on here but for now again clocked at 1.2 gigahertz 800 megahertz this one was faster. It's about OS and optimization. So if you guys are feeling like being awesome and you don't hate my face, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure to check out our latest video. Feel free to subscribe. Got a lot of videos coming up between these two and I will see you guys later.